history and and we will discuss about
5 degrees. But in Swift chart, um, to determine the degree, the angle of the coefficient of reflection, you will draw a line from the center point up to the up to the normal point, then it should reach the the curve here, the first the first basis, and when you draw a line. Um, the the line that we need is the angle of the angle of uh, reflection. Ay yung dun sa via computation, ang angle natin is 82.87 5 degrees. So dito is 80 80 to 84 between 82 and 84 so uh, mga approximately 83 so yun nga yung the value is 83 degrees. And para sa para sa magnitude naman, you will measure the the length, the distance from here to the normal point, and the distance also here. So you will you will divide the distance of this one to this one. Wala akong ruler na dalawa, pero pag, pag dinivide yan, ang sagot ay malapit sa 0 0.62. 0 0.62 yung sagot. Alas. And then, to get the VSWR, you will make a circle from the center point to the <coughs> normal point. And then, uh, you will base your PSWR answer um, here at the right side. Malit siya, pero pag makikita mo, yung value is 4.3 4 and something kasi dito is dito 5 na, so dito 4, pa pagaling yung value. So to verify, kunin natin yung value ng ang SWR using the formula. value is 4.2743 yung value ng BSWR natin. So, ganun din yung makukuha mo, makukuha sa sa sweet chart. Uh, ano, malapit siya sa 4.3 kapag tinignan dito na mas malapit yung value. So, yun. Yun. That's how to to get the values of the coefficient of reflection in the VSWR. In the VSWR, you will make a circle from the center to the normal point, and the the coefficient of reflection, uh, center point up to the normal point, you will make a straight line, and you will get the angle and you will divide the the length of the this one to, to, to this one and you will get the magnitude. So, so I am Jello Alexander. So plotting the input impedance. So first uh, we must plot in the coordinate of the normal impedance. So from the resistance <coughs> So we're given uh, 0 0.5, so we measure 0.5 here. And the uh, imaginary part from the innermost surface. 
Then we, from the origin, passing to the coordinates, to the outermost circle, uh, we form a distance axis. So that's the distance axis between the load impedance. Uh, so as you, as we notice, uh, in order to make a full rotation, uh, we must obtain a 0 0.5 wavelength. So we're given a 3.3 given light. So we subtract a 3.3 So we need a 0 0.3 wavelength rotation to achieve the input impedance. Uh, so from approximately this is a 0.135, 1.35 wavelength, and this part represents the load impedance. <coughs> so we need a 0.35 rotation, rotation, in order to get the input impedance. So rotating the axis, we we achieve a so first, uh, we need to add this the uh, rotation of the load impedance to the approximate point of the normal impedance. So 1.35 plus 0 0.3 is equal to 0.435. So we must obtain a 0 0.435 wavelength to achieve the input impedance. So from the point here to the origin. So as you can see, as we earlier, we saw the circuit VSW circuit. We get the points intersecting between the VSW circuit. So this is approximately uh, from three, three from the resistance axis. So we have a C, C in <coughs> point three. Minus, so this is the minus part because the lower portion of the sweet chart and this is the positive imaginary part. So this is approximately 0 0.4, J0.4. So lastly, we multiply it by its terminating resistance, which is 50. So by calculation, the Z in is equals to 15 minus J20. So, as you can see. So, ayon, we discussed ko naman yung about sa input uh, admittance to, nagkamali lang, input admittance of the line, which is one in. Uh, madali na to once na nakuha mo yung Z-in. Kasi, uh, as, you, uh, as you see here, ito yung Z-in na nakuha kanina. You will just draw a straight line from here, passing through the center, straight doon. Tapos once na nag-cross dito sa circuit na to, ito yung value ng one in. So, if you will see, it is 1.15. Plus J, 1.7. Tapos, kukukunin mo naman siya as, ano, uh, using the formula, uh, Y in is equals to 1 over Z in. Zero point 
zero point eight four. That's J zero point zero thirty three. Stay on that. That's next. Ito naman, yung distance to voltage minimum and voltage minimum. Uh, we consider this one as voltage maxima, which has a value of 0 0.5 lambda. Tapos ito, voltage minimum, which has a value of 0 lambda. Tapos, once na kapag hinahanap yung distance from the voltage maximum, you will just, ano, minus the voltage maximum to the load o kaya voltage minimum to the load tapos ito yung sample niya uh, so meron pang okay next okay Reflection coefficient. Ito. 
And then, yan, ano, mga, ayun yung mga pwedeng makuha dyan. Yung voltage tanong wave ratio, SWR is DD, return loss, reflected coefficient, attenuation, SWR, return loss, the speed and power as a function of this function. Ayan. Nandun na sa ilalim ng ano. 